And here we go, underway, Brett Farr, Minnesota Storm. He is a national finalist at the NCAA level for Minnesota, taking on True Frosh Phenom, Aaron Brooks. He took a year after high school to train at the Olympic Paralympic Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, but he still has four years of eligibility. He drops down on a single leg. Get a little misdirection there. Farr was ready for him. Big question of whether Brooks will come out of red shirt. He's just taking a regular red shirt, although maybe it could be Olympic. I don't know the exact ruling on that. But either way, will he be plugged into the Nittany Lion lineup? Remains to be seen. The goal now, though, is to win and guarantee a bit at the Olympic team trials. Aaron Brooks is going to want to do that and wrestle in front of that Nittany Lion crowd in State College in April. Loser of this bout could still move on and qualify, but they have to win their next bout for fifth. No scores here after a minute and 15 seconds. Both wrestlers have been warned for passivity, so the next one will go, next time that happens, they'll go on the clock. Two on one for Farr, and that's Brooks who will go on the activity clock. He'll have 30 seconds to score. And far, straight arm push. He doesn't get a point for that, but Brooks still has 15 seconds to score. So they white paddle the step out. You can't just push your opponent out of bounds, you have to do a wrestling move. Brooks on a single leg, but far in that long frame keeps him from Getting him in too much danger. There, the point goes on the board. Brooks did not score in time. He shoots in again. High volume shooter is the young Aaron Brooks. As he goes on the attack here. Ooh, nice arm drag into a boot scoot. Did not land. And as I just said, high volume when Brooks did not do a ton of shooting in his semifinal bout against Sahid Valencia. Well, when his offense is on, obviously, it's a different story. The shot by far, but Brooks is going to try to get the go behind. Now he's trying to lock in a cradle. Time runs out, and no score there. Holding on behind his back of Brooks' foot was far. Somehow avoided giving up the takedown. And being t-shirted down is far an actual towel for Brooks. Second period underway. There goes a swing single shot from Brooks right off the whistle. Far though, man, he's hard to get to those legs. He is a long 86 kilo guy. Brooks is getting to those legs, but all he can really do is Get a little bit of hold. Now he's got probably his best grip. He's got his hands locked around the left leg of Far. Far sprawling. 
Good move to square up by Brooks, but he lost the leg, and now Farr has him on the edge of the mat. Good flurry here. Both guys trying different directions. Now Farr will get the two. Beautiful scramble from both wrestlers. That makes it three to nothing. These Minnesota Storm guys are pretty dangerous on top. They have gut wrenches and leg laces. And though it's not wrapped up real tight, Farr is trying to pop those hips and get that turn. Instead, he'll give up one. So three to one, he gives up the reversal. Far hung on to that lace attempt a little too long. Brooks in on another shot. Far going over the top. He's got two ankles trying to free his legs. Brooks athletic enough to avoid danger. He goes right in on another shot. And Farr is going to give up two. So Brooks takes the lead by criteria late in the second period. Farr with a like a reverse whizzer. Although Brooks looking for a turn now. He gets it. He's still got that lace locked up. This one will be huge. Brooks... Went and had a guttural scream trying to get that. He knew how important that was. And we got blood on Aaron Brooks. So blood coming from far, not really sure. But he's gonna get cleaned up. He's losing five to three, but a two point move would give him the lead on criteria. Brooks right in on a sweep single. This is where he's been able to make the difference. Scramble far, has a far ankle. But Brooks has both legs. Time on the side of Brooks. He can scramble here all day. Although that should be two for far. It is crafty little turn. Far needs to hold on to those ankles. Now he can stay here. He's technically got the lead. Brooks still working. And we'll come back up to the feet. 17 seconds to go. Far crafty job using his legs to turn Brooks. Brooks shoots. Far kind of counters, but he leaves his leg out for Brooks. Brooks trying to finish. He's got 10 seconds. Far looking at the clock. Again, living on those far ankles. Brooks, four seconds. Three seconds to hold on. Brooks can't get it in time. Far qualifies for the Olympic team trials. Aaron Brooks will have to wrestle for fifth. Brooks is disappointed. Was right there at the end. Got a lot of wrestling left. They shake hands. And Farr gets his hand raised. He's on 